In this video, let's talk about our column sizing capabilities in ProMax. And so in ProMax, we have the ability to size columns, whether this is a design case where we want to size it from scratch. We want ProMax to tell us what our diameter needs to be for our column. Or if we have an existing column and we like to plug that column's internals into our simulation and have ProMax then calculate for us you know, whether that column is big enough or not for our application. We can do both of those here in our, our program. We can do that for trade columns or for packed columns, and so I'll show you both of those here as we work through these examples. You'll see here that I have uh, two depropanizer columns, one with trays and one with packing, and these columns are converged in our simulation, and now we would like to size them. So I'm going to open up my trays column first, and I'm on the process data tab underneath the general section here. You'll see that the very first thing it asks me is to choose what type of hardware I'm going to be using. And so I can choose here whether I have trays, random packing, or structured packing. Next, I can tell Promax what my diameter is. So if this is an existing column, I can type in my diameter. I can have multiple diameters. So in this case, we have a smaller diameter up top with a larger diameter on the bottom. And from that, Promax is calculating what my flooding would be on each of these different trays. Now, if I don't know my diameter, again, if it's a design case, I can leave the diameter blank. And instead, I would type in an, a value for my fraction flooding, an allowable level of flooding. And Promax would then calculate the diameter required to keep our flooding at that level. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But we've typed in a diameter in this case, and the only other thing on this page we need to input is this system factor here. The system factor is also known as our foaming factor, and so this value is accounting for the foaming we would expect for this type of process. And each application is going to have a different systems factor. You can look these up in our help files, but again, this is accounting for the foaming we expect here in our depropanizer. From there, since this is a trade column, I'm next going to come here to the tray section. And I can tell it here whether I have sieve trays, sieve trays, or whether I have valve trays. I'm going to tell it what my tray spacing is, my fraction active area, weir height, etc. Number of passes I can type in as well. Some of these values will come with defaults but you can override those defaults if you have different information. So you can see the fraction whole area is set at 10% by default, but I could change that if I knew mine was different. But all this information is filled in to go towards our flooding calculations. Some additional information that's calculated for us, you can see that we have this jet flooding that's calculated along with the fraction flooding and system flooding we saw on the page before. If I come here to my pressure drop tab, here Promax will calculate what type of pressure drop we would expect on each tray. Next, we have this downcomer section where we're calculating our downcomer flooding and other downcomer properties. And then the last tab here is the details tab, which will provide us with some frothing information, our liquid flow path length, interfacial area, etc. And so that information is also calculated for you. And that's all it takes. That's all we have to plug in. Again, is this information about our trays. And then back on our general tab, either a diameter or fraction flooding, and this system factor. Now let's show you an example of packing if I close this window. Now I'm going to open up this second depropanizer that I have. Here on the general tab, you'll see first that I've changed my hardware type to the random packing option. And in this case, I haven't typed in a diameter. Instead, I've typed in 70% flooding, telling Promax to calculate what diameter would be required to keep my flooding at 70%. I've again typed in a system factor for this application, and Promax has calculated a diameter for all of my packing. Of course, the diameter isn't exactly the same to hit 70% all the way through, and so you would probably just choose the largest value down here, say a seven and a quarter foot tower. But that would allow you to now know what type of diameter, what size diameter you would need 
for this application. Now the other inputs here, since I've chosen random packing, you'll see that there is a random hardware section here. And if I choose that, all I'm going to do here is choose what my packing type is. And again, I can have multiple types of packing. As we see here, I have one type of packing at the top and another type of packing at the bottom. And so with that packing type calculated, Promax will calculate the pressure drop going through the packing. We're also given some of the constants that go with that type of packing, things like our void fraction here, etc. But all this information is included as soon as we choose what type of packing we have. And so that's all the inputs that are required here. And so that is our, our different columns with trade and packing. Now these were both vapor liquid columns. Uh, we can also size liquid liquid columns. And so if we have like a liquid liquid treating scenario or something, we can size those as well. And so I've got a second tab here with a liquid that we're treating with liquid amine. And if I open up this tower, the first thing you'll notice is we've changed our flash type to liquid liquid equilibrium since there's no vapor in this system. And then if I go to the general tab, or excuse me, the general section here, all we have to input is a liquid loading if this is a design case. And so Promax will calculate a diameter from this liquid loading. Or, of course, once again, if we know our actual diameter, we can type in that diameter and click Solve, and it will instead calculate our liquid loading for us. And so that is available for our liquid-liquid columns. So that's how our sizing works here in Promax. I hope that video has been really useful for you. As always, if you have any questions or would like us to help you with anything, feel free to give us a call at 979-776-5220, or you can email us at support at bre.com.